Have you heard the saying, money makes the world go round? Like a determined hamster on a wheel, some people constantly chase after it. Money talks for some, but walks with others. It doesn't care about your self-esteem or where you are in life. It's either in your wallet or not, and you're either raking it in or shelling it out. You might not be aware before this video, but money has rules, certain laws that guide how it's made and moves around. Today, we're sharing 10 money rules that are about to shake up how you see the whole wealth game. Number one, think of money as an amplifier. It magnifies whatever traits were lurking in the shadows, making them 10 times more noticeable. Money is a magnifying glass that sparks dormant qualities into life. Let's say you were a bit careless before striking it rich. Now, you're just a callous person with a fatter wallet. Flip the coin, and if you were humble and generous before wealth, hitting the jackpot won't change much. It may just give you the opportunity to give more. Money is like gasoline, it fuels the fire. You can move faster, learn quicker, and gain access to a stash of toys, resources, and tools. The point is, money doesn't fundamentally change people, it merely peels away the vulnerability of being strapped for cash, offering a platform for people to reveal their true selves. Number two, never splash the cash before you earn it. Spending money you haven't earned yet is the quickest route to staying broke. Many people go into debt buying things they don't need or truly can't afford. Some point fingers at the media, claiming aggressive marketing that preys on vulnerable individuals, promising happiness and peer respect. Others blame education, saying these important lessons aren't often taught. But if we're honest, it's more personal than that. When you max out that credit card for the latest phone, deep down you know it's not a smart move, despite the phone being smart. You're sacrificing your future for the sake of the present. Overspending on things beyond your means is a cycle that keeps you playing catch up with the future leaving little room to step into it. Number three, don't chase money. This might sound a bit cheesy, like some law of attraction mantra, but it's deeper than just positive thoughts and cosmic deliveries. Firstly, don't be on the constant chase for money. If you're running after it like a coyote after a roadrunner, you'll stay stuck in a rat race. Money doesn't like being pursued, it tends to sprint away when you're in hot pursuit. What you should be doing is trying to attract money. It's about becoming valuable on your own terms. The more skills and aptitudes you accumulate, the more valuable you become. People will seek you out to solve their problems, happily bringing money. The thing is, consumers spend money, but creators receive it. This is one of the main reasons people stay broke. They consume much more than they produce. Number four, your time is your money. The common understanding is that you need money to make money, but what many people overlook is that time holds even greater value. Regardless of when you begin, building a business takes an average of seven years. The point is, time is a non-negotiable requirement, and the sooner you kick off, the quicker you'll reach your destination. The easiest way to do that is to immerse yourself in your chosen field. It's baffling how people struggle to find two hours a day for their side projects while indulging in Netflix or losing countless hours to video games. If you're not rich, it's not due to a lack of money, but rather a poor investment of your time. So focus on acquiring knowledge that translates into real life value. Direct your learning towards building a way to escape the mediocrity most of us start with. If someone else has built a ladder, use it by studying documented processes. Of course, life deals us different hands and some may face deeper holes, but the escape route is often the same. Learn, build, escape, enjoy, and teach others. If you're serious about changing your life, start by learning the fundamentals. And if you want a starting point, join us by subscribing to this channel where we discuss personal finance topics to help you build wealth. Number five, keep money engaged. Money doesn't like boredom. Money, much like a shark, must keep moving to stay alive. If it gets bored, it often dwindles away or swims off to someone who knows how to put it to good use. Money loses value when it idles and gains strength when it's active. If you stash 10,000 under your bed for a decade, it would roughly be worth 6,000 in real marketplace value at the end, a result of letting money get bored. While it's important to set some money aside for a rainy day, the rest should be deployed to fortify your castle. Number six, spend less than you earn. It might sound like a no-brainer, but it's surprising how many people overlook this fundamental principle. A significant portion either carelessly swipe their credit cards for everything or spend their entire earnings. The first group is already drowning, while the second is a mere wave away from joining them. If your spending habits run wild, it's likely the reason your life feels stagnant. 
Money seduces these individuals. They shackle themselves with bad debt, allowing pride and emotions to dictate their spending. They fail to realize all debt comes with interest, and if you can't afford it now, adding interest on top of it won't make it any more affordable. For those who cringe at the idea of budgeting because it feels like penny-pinching, you must rethink your idea of a budget. It's not there to make you feel penniless, it's there to tell you where your money is going and what you're spending it on. You should enjoy a rich life, but it shouldn't come at the expense of your future self. Increase your income, decrease your spending, and allocate a portion to your safety net. Number seven, make money work super hard for you. It should go out and bring back more. Billionaire investor Kevin O'Leary popularized this metaphor and has become ingrained in our approach to money. Consider every dollar in your possession as a soldier under your command. Each morning, you dispatch them out onto the field. Some may fall while others win. Your objective is to ensure more of them return home with even more soldiers. When you view your money this way, you become more cautious about just giving them away when someone requests to borrow a few, because you'll remember that every time money leaves your possession, there's a risk of those funds being misused, misplaced, or simply lost. Number eight, your partner can either make you rich or make you poor. You might be wondering how your significant other impacts your financial life, but you'll truly grasp the cost of being with the wrong person only when it happens. Not just about the financial toll of divorces, which can be hefty if mishandled. The real expense lies in the wrong person holding you back, intimately connected and capable of altering your destiny. They can either help craft your wings for growth or shackle you to the ground. Your life companion should be someone willing to navigate this thing called life with you. Only someone fully committed to this shared endeavor can endure and thrive. Number nine, money has the potential to solve your financial problems. No more, no less. There's a common misconception that money can fix every issue. And while it can address most problems, it's not a universal solution. Need shelter? Money can solve that. Wondering about your next meal? Money's got you covered. These are all within the problem arena that money can tackle. But it's naive to believe that having money means you can fix relationship problems or even self-esteem issues. If you're in poverty, money problems tend to dominate your view. Once you overcome these, you'll realize that other problems exist where money holds little power. Don't fall for the trap of believing it can solve those. Number 10, more value, more reward. It's a simple concept. In order to increase your earnings, you need to increase your value. You can do this by solving problems that help more people. Whether that's by providing housing with rentals, helping people wash their clothes by owning a laundromat, or giving people an opportunity to connect and show their picture-taking skills by creating Instagram, you'll see that the more value you provide, the greater your opportunity to create wealth. These 10 rules are golden for building wealth, but which one really stuck with you? Which rule do you value the most? Thanks so much for watching. If you learned something today, please give the video a like and we'll see you in the next one.